back to day 28 of the 100 day project. So um, this is where we've gotten so far. We've completed this front part. We've got a um, envelope pocket here with the tuck spot. Um, here we've got a flip up, another flip up, a pocket, and a couple of flips here, a pocket here, and a tiny pocket there. Okay, so I am going to call this project complete except for the cover. So we are going to do that today. And I'm sorry, I'm just kind of out of it. I did save that journal card and I just totally am in the, I don't know, zoned out. So I'm, I apologize. I've went ahead and just chose some lace um, for my stash. I ran this through and did some black stitching on that. And then I've added this um, dream to a book plate, a metal book plate, because I, I do like, I like a little bit of metal on the cover. I think it looks nice. And um, so, <clears throat> playing around, this is some uh, lace I got from the car boot, and I've kind of deconstructed it. So I'm going to use that. And this is just some of that really sheer I'm going to layer that on there and then come back and put that because I want to keep the little fairy image. I think she's very sweet. And then you can still, because it's all sheer, you can still see some of the um, image behind. So let's just get started. Um, this has been stitched, um, but these I'm going to glue on and... Um, Yeah, let me get this piece on because I want this to have a real rustic um, look to it. And I want that to just hang over slightly. So I'm going to put a generous, a generous bit of the... Um, the three-in-one. And someone was asking me the other day how I feel about it in place of um, Fabri-Tac and I personally am not seeing any difference. I think this is just as good and um, I've not had any trouble with it myself uh, and it's slightly cheaper than the Fabri-Tac here. It is, I don't, I can't say over in the US because I, I was buying Fabri-Tac at Joann's over there using my coupon <laughs> that I so miss. <laughs> um, so anyways, let's just get that down. And then I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to have to turn this so I can make sure I've got this positioned right. Um, this is some of that uh, trim. I'm going to put, I'll come back with that. Let me just go ahead and get this, this glued on. prefer to stitch the embellishments, but sometimes, you know, like in a case of this, um, <clears throat> sometimes you don't have a choice, so I, I like to be really careful that I'm sure I'm getting enough on there. See, I like how that's, let me make sure I got that straight, I like how that's coming out, and let me put just a dollop here, just want to make sure it's not, um, you know, too loose. And I, I, I don't mind, see, let me show you a close up. That's hanging over, but I really don't mind that. I want it to be a very rustic um, look to this. So now I want to come back and put a little bit of this. Let me just figure out how much I want to get of that. Snip that off. It's 
funny, when I first bought this, it's beautiful. When I first bought it, I thought, oh gosh, am I ever going to use that? But I'll be honest, I've said that about a lot of things that I've ended up coming back. And um, like those tiny eyelets that I used in that last project, I, I thought at one point, oh, I'll never get through those. very fiddly doing this trim. I prefer to run it through a zigzag stitch, but I didn't do it, so I'm just going to have to glue this down really well because I don't don't like risking stuff coming off. This is another one of those items that after I bought it, I thought, oh, when am I ever going to use that? But I have. I have. So, And I've just cut off a couple of little. This was like a um, doily for the table, and this was all on the trim, but they've just ended up being something I've used time and time again in my projects. So... You know, just another little thing. Sometimes, you know, at first you, glance you might think, oh, how can I use that? But you just got to try to see it in a different way. Okay, let me get that one on there. Okay, let me step back. I'm sorry, I need to look at this now. I don't want that. I don't want that on there. Okay, I think I'm going to just put a tiny bit cloth that's too much that's two layers let me let me separate them
Okay. See if you guys can see up close there how it's how it's come out. I'm very happy with that. And it didn't take that long. You know, you just gather up what what um, <clears throat> what you've got and just start working it around until you get it, you know, to where you're happy with it. But I'm very happy with that. Um, I, like I said, I always step away for a day and then look at things again and see if there's anything I feel it needs um, added to it. Um, so anyways, guys, that's it for our altered file folder. Um, thank you guys so much for following along on this. It's been really interesting to hear you know people's thoughts on things and um you know just interacting with you guys over it and i will have <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing tomorrow but um hopefully i will come up with something to do for the next day of this challenge thank you guys so much you have a great rest of the day and i'll see you tomorrow